Missed me? Well, I'm back with a brand new video where I'm going to be reviewing a pair of austerity brog boots from Indonesian brand Vahti Asus. Coming up. Welcome back everyone. My name is Kostas, owner of Mishu Academy and the Noble Shoe. If you're new to the channel, you probably expect a lot of honest, welted shoe reviews uh, that hopefully will help you take uh, your shoe game to the next level and make more informed decisions about various brands, construction, leathers, etc. and the occasional bad joke. If you're an older viewer, however, you will probably notice that I am in a new, let's say, studio because I just moved apartments, so please excuse the quality. I'm still working on it and your feedback about the audio, the quality and the setup is very important to me, so let me know in the comments down below. So if you follow the shoe industry, you have probably noticed that there is a lot of upcoming and emerging brands of shoemakers from Asia. For example, we have uh, Yeosal, uh, you have uh, Sina Shoemaker, and most recently in the high end you have Acme Shoemaker. And of course today's uh, brand is Vahtia Shoes, which is an emerging brand out of Indonesia. Uh, I was in contact with uh, the owner, who is Edgy, hope I'm saying it right. Uh, he's a really nice guy and uh, he actually gave me an interview not so long ago, which you can find in the blog and the description down below. And uh, I was very interested and uh, it reminded me of myself a lot and how I started. So quite recently he actually uh, told me that he had one of his beautiful austerity boots that didn't make it past the QC for some minor uh, quality issues. It happened to be my size and he's like, would you like to make a review? And I'm like, of course, absolutely. So here we are today. We're gonna be doing an unboxing, my first unboxing, and also a sort of a review and take a look at the, the leather, the construction, how it feels, and of course, sizing advice. Let's get on with it. All right, here we have them. Let's open up the box, which is uh, pretty sturdy. Uh, it's not exactly like your standard box and has a printed patterns on the top. And we have we have noodles. <laughs> and a note from Aji. Uh, it says that these are a small gift and Indonesian food, so I got noodles now. Thank you. Uh, we immediately see two cotton dust bags. Uh, they are not your usual flannel one, there's quite light. Nice and lightweight. Uh, it's nothing premium, but I mean, it, it does the job right now. Uh, that's it uh, with the box, you can see. There we have them. And there we go. So. Let's uh, go deep into the shoes already. So, austerity broke pattern. Uh, nice, quite soft, square chisel toe here on the top. Uh, it, it is a bit like a Balmoral boot in, in the sense that uh, the lacing is closed. It is not exactly uh, what you would say like a field boot or a jumper boot when it comes to height. So it is a little shorter and will be apparently around your ankle area. Immediately I can see some of the things that, you know, they wouldn't really clear QC with. Uh, one of them is, it's a bit hard to show, uh, but here on the toe, uh, I can see some, you know, discoloration or mottled uh, uh, markings and overall the shoe is a bit scuffed and potentially it's very difficult to show. Potentially it has been maybe tried on here. The leather is uh, soft enough. So I'm surprised how lightweight the boots are actually. Uh, I, the same thing happens pretty much on the other shoe as well. And there are some markings here as you can maybe see. Uh, it's very difficult to show that close but uh, if I'm completely honest, if I paid four hundred dollars and plus for this, I would be annoyed. I would not be satisfied. Uh, but uh, yeah, we've already mentioned that, so don't forget about it. The final product 
didn't clear QC for a reason, and this is one of them. So it means they actually did some good quality control. Yes, uh, let's see. Uh, has a really nice shape. Uh, it's quite modern looking, especially the last. Uh, so that's something that I find very interesting and it's probably impossible to show on camera is that all over the, the left shoe here it has this sort of color that you see on concrete and asphalt when when there is like oil or gasoline you know it gives this rainbow coloring and I can sort of see that here on the boot it's interesting to say the least uh, stitching looks pretty good uh, there are some finishes that could be better here and there. There's nothing major. Uh, actually, the inner lining stitching here is better than the sinus one. It's more polished. And the tongue also. It's a good thing they put the austerity pattern here, and, which is a bit higher up instead of, you know, lower, because this is a soft square last, and it could possibly look a bit ridiculous if it was higher on the front, so it's, it's, it's a very good design choice in my in my view. Let's see, uh, Dynet sole, uh, classic, but it's, it's really, it's quite lightweight. And uh, let's see, heel block, stitching everywhere is nice. Uh, the laces, the laces could maybe be improved, I don't know, they feel a little rugged for, for a more formal, let's say, pair of footwear, um, they're okay, I mean, you, you can always change them, so that's not an issue. And uh, this, the world looks pretty good, honestly, uh, it's quite tight as well here on the back, so it's not a full 360 weld, so it's perfectly fine and makes no difference. As far as the, the waist, uh, you can see that it's, it's rather beveled here, and uh, there is a very slight fiddle back on the on the bottom uh, dining sole. And I think actually the heel is a bit shorter. I usually see three. Is it shorter? So I usually see the marking three three quarters here. Anyways, and quickly on the other pair, uh, same things here. Is a bit of scratching. Uh, you know the leather is kind of meh uh, because I don't know what kind of condition it was or what it went through to come here and uh, pull tabs here of course it's quite short which I actually like which means that it's not so easy for your pants to get stuck there nice overall I think that this is uh, a rather good boot and uh, especially a pattern that you don't see very often and uh, you know how much of a fan of austerity brogues I am so this is great that's a solid shoe. I mean, it's surprising how much good stuff is coming out of Asia these days. And I'm still working on uh, the lighting and the perfect setup, so excuse me for that. Yeah, uh, I look forward to actually wearing them and trying them and taking a look at the sizing and deciding if this is a good shoe or not. So now that we've talked about the actual boots, it's... so now that we've seen the boots, it's time to talk about availability, price, and of course sizing, so you can make a better decision if you should buy or not. So these are a part of a limited collection that Aji has right now in Vartia shoes, because he's starting small, and it's quite a smart decision to have a small curated selection of uh, unique and really nice shoes, uh, such as this one. Uh, as far as I know, this retails for about $429, which is a fair price, especially for a hand-welted shoe. As I said, this model apparently failed QC for a few reasons, and we sort of saw why. Uh, so I cannot judge it based on this current form and full price, of course. However, it is, uh, it is a very solid shoe, and I must say it, it fits very well. Uh, this model is a UK 8, or you'd say US 9, or equivalent in EU would be 42. If it's really well, actually, and uh, the, the width is perfect, I have no heel slip, my usual size is UK 8. Sometimes I wear UK 7.5 without a problem, I usually in a bit roomier last, so I would say that this fits perfectly true to size. 
there's enough space on my toes even though it's chiseled enough the width is great there's no heel slip uh, the only let's say complaint i have in the beginning is that to like the top of the shaft uh next to my ankle it feels it feels a little stiff it feels quite stiff in the beginning i, I believe it will stretch out a bit and uh, it will loosen up and become more comfortable but overall the fit is excellent for a ready to wear shoe and i must say it's also quite light I'm, I'm surprised it's quite light especially having a, a dynat so i might do a weight in and add it in the comments so is it worth your money in this present condition with uh, some minor defects and finishing problems at full price no but of course this is a specific sample that was sent to me with known issues uh, however as a new shoe especially for an austerity boot that Quite honestly, uh, the last time I saw one was from uh, Vass and it was in Shell Cordovan and probably costed $1,000. This is pretty good. It's light, uh, it's good construction. The, the leather is quite supple. The fit was perfect for me. It comes also with a rather discreet, I would say, Dionysol, sole. And uh, it's also hand welted. That's pretty impressive for just over $400, especially if you can get this on sale one day. That is a fantastic price. Uh, one thing I haven't really checked and I might do later is that shipping might not be free and it depends on your location but also that depending on the, on the country you're in there could be import taxes or custom fees for example Canada or if you import to Europe so have that in mind because it will uh, increase the cost a bit overall great shoe uh, I will be wearing it a lot. This is a really beautiful pattern. I love Austerity Bros. And I think if this was completely new and would pass the QC, uh, you would be extremely happy with it. It's, it's, it's great. And you would be supporting a small local businessman that uh, has passion for shoes and wants to improve the industry and also, um, and also give work to the people there and also teach them. Um, very happy to have this opportunity. I would really like to know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment, leave a thumbs up uh, or a thumbs down and tell me why. And don't forget to subscribe because I have a lot of content uh, coming up in the next uh, few weeks and months. But before you go, I do have uh, a bad joke again because because you, you started complaining about it. Where is the bad joke from the last video? Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. All right, let me give you one. So three years ago, I loaned my girlfriend a hundred dollars. Uh, last week we broke up and she returned a hundred dollars back to me. I think I lost interest in that one. <laughs> yes. Tell me if you like it or not. Give me your worst. I'll see you in the next one.